everyone, my name is James Cohn. I will be doing a tutorial of the song All Creatures by Kim Skaladescope. This is the version in M2. So I realize how confusing it may look from the very beginning of watching the playing and everything, uh, but I can show you all the different parts and uh, kind of give a bit more of an explanation to what I'm actually doing during the song. The song mostly starts off with this uh, first chord, the E major 7, so it starts with the E, E, G e sharp, and G, so E is on the A string, 7th fret, B is on the D string. 9th fret, and then the uh, D sharp is on the G string, it's the 8th fret, and then the, the G sharp right there is on the B string, the 9th fret, so it goes. And so that's the first part, it starts with the, hitting the first one. And then as you continue on during the song, 
uh, when it gets to the oh praise him section it, it changes up a little bit so you're going to start to play the B and E the E is going to be left open and then the B is going to be sliding so you start with the uh, fifth fret to fourth fret to second fret to open fret for the beginning so it'll be E, D sharp, C sharp, and B to begin with uh, basically going like this so keeping in the uh, eighth note basically or so actually sixteenth so and that's the first part of that and then as the song progresses you're going to do that three times and then the fourth time it's going to be something a little bit different so the fourth time you'll be going to E to F sharp to G sharp to G or actually it's a E to F sharp to A sharp to D sharp. Let me just try that again. Basically, what you're going to be doing at this point, you're going to be going from the E to F sharp to A to G sharp, right there. And it's going to be sliding, so it's going to be the 16th. So, and that's going to be on the fourth time, uh, basically. So it'll be uh, three times doing the. After a lot of practice, it starts to become easier after that. Um, and then once you uh, once you finish that, you're just going to be building on the B, which is the Ale. And then during the instrumental section, this is where it gets a little tricky. But uh, once you learn it, it starts to become easy from there. You're going to be playing the G sharp, E, and then B, and G sharp, and then D sharp, and F sharp. And then D sharp right there on the high end, and then B. So it's going to sound all together like this. But basically, the way that it'll sound, uh, if you slow it down and everything, I'll show you how it basically is played. So it goes to. the off rhythm so it's not going to be on the one it's it's going to be on the one and so it'll be or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so just make sure to be careful of like how you hit that as you get into the song it's not going to be on it'll be on the one beat for the first part but then all the other hits are going to be on the ants so just watch out for that um, and uh, then once you get to the very last section, the instrumental two, going into the outro, it goes into this. And all I'm doing there is basically hammering on uh, the ninth fret uh, using the G string and B string. And then it gets to the, um, the E and E, or E and G sharp rather. And then letting my pinky finger hit the B on the B string, so going to 9 to 12, so it'll be. And after doing that, uh, that's the main part of that, you just do that. Then once we get to the very end of the song, which is uh, the uh, triplet section, it goes to E, B, G sharp, and A, B, G sharp, and E. So it goes to... And you can play that different ways. You can do it on the high end, which is sometimes easier for playing that. also play an octave lower so going to the it takes a little time to figure it out but then after a while you can learn it hope this information is helpful for you guys <laughs>